So you're thinking of the Solomon Quiver? Let me tell you about it real quick. Stuff that you're not going to read online. I've been using it now for a couple different runs, and I just want to tell you the things that, yeah, like I said, you can't Google. Number one, things I read before I bought this was that there was a problem with the size of the clip and people's vests. So I want to address that first. I think that's like the most major, like the biggest elephant in the room. This guy's is the Advanced Skin 5. I bought this in November or maybe late November, early December. So that's if you've bought one since then, you could pretty much assume that on this particular vest, this is, you know, what I'm going to tell you is going to be the same for you. And I've also, I gave a call to Solomon and addressed the fact that they had a list of vests that this was compatible for, and then people were leaving in the reviews that they weren't. Uh, there was kind of like this transitional period between vests, and you should. If you buy one now, you should be okay. If you have a vest, here's what you need to look for if you're going to be okay or not. These, I hope I can zoom in here. Let me try and zoom in quick on these. I'll touch my screen. This is what the flaps look like on my shoulders, all right? And in relation to my pinky, to get an idea, I'm an average size person, it's pretty much the width of my pinky. So if you have those, that's going to be good. I have seen vests that have like a reflector across here, and these aren't that big. But if you don't have that reflector, it's about as wide as your pinky and stands up about as much as your, your pinky nail, I think you are going to be good. Because for me, they fit in perfectly. All right, They were very, very easy to install through these and you could do it on both your left or your right shoulder. I have it on my right shoulder mostly because I like to reach this way for my poles, not this way. Some people, it, it's really up to you and you could put it on both. Not only do I use this for my poles, but it's great for an Insta360 if you're a content creator. I, I use it a lot, actually more for my Insta360 than my poles, but that's, I did a video talking about the Insta360. You could check that out, but it attached perfectly fine up here for me. No issues whatsoever. Be aware of that, but just know that if you've bought your Solomon vest recently, you're probably going to be okay. The other part that it attaches to is on the back. And this was, I didn't really see this online. So, um, what it came is there's a little bit of a zip one of those guys down here and there's a loop on your vest. I pretty much took this part. I put it through the hole. I took this part. I also put it through the hole. And then when you come here, it pulls tight like this and you could pull this and tighten this however you want. I've got it in a spot that I really, really like. It doesn't jump. It doesn't bounce around. Frankly, I don't know it's there. So if you're curious, like, uh, is it going to be heavy? It's light as a feather. Do I have poles in it? Yeah, I have poles in it, but it this doesn't like make it awkward. It doesn't bounce. It stays as tight as the vest. If you were worried, like when you got the vest, if it was going to bounce and jump around, it doesn't jump or bounce around like the vest doesn't. It's there. And like I said, once I got used to it, maybe it pulls a little back, but not anything that was like worth really mentioning in this video. The other things I'll talk about that I never heard anybody talk about, there's awesome little holes at the bottom. I don't know if you can see them. They're kind of for drainage if you get caught in the rain. Also, there is a nice little foam, uh, like almost like a honeycomb padding in here. So that's going to protect your poles from really bouncing against your shoulder blade. I have found that to be very, very comfortable. I've taken this on 20 mile runs. So no chafage issues, no bruising, no battering, no real problems at all. I'm very, very happy. I wish they had more color options. If I'm going to be like, I don't know if I'm going to find anything I want. Cause I got a green vest with the black on there, but that really all there was was black. It was cheap at the time I bought it. It was maybe like 30 bucks for me worth the 30 bucks. I was trying to put poles everywhere else on the front, on the back. If, if you're dealing with that, spend the 30 bucks. You're spending all this money on the poles, on the races. This is an expensive sport sometimes. I think this is a $30 investment, frankly, for me, it to make, especially if you have a guaranteed compatible Solomon vest. I'm really, really happy with it. And like I said, besides the poles, Insta360, I'm sure like I could shove something else in there. I thought I'd have a problem getting my poles in. It's kind of like, I don't know if you've ever like picked up lawn leaves and like those, those things that have like a, a firmer top. This is like 
it has not like, it's not metal, but it's like got a stiffer material that keeps it open. So like it doesn't fold shut. If I do this, it springs right back open. So was there a little bit of a learning curve? Yes, just like anything wearing a vest, I pretty much reach over, I grab it, and then I just shove my poles in, same, reach it, pull my poles out. I don't, I don't find myself like fumbling or looking around for it. So I don't think you should have that problem either. If you, as far as the length, if you want to see the Insta360, it slides right in and you don't even see it. Okay. So it's not poking me out. It's not banging me in the back of the ear. This is longer than my pole. So my pole handles pretty much come right to the top. If you want to know about my poles, just leave a question down in the comments and I'll, maybe I'll make a review of my poles. Uh, but other than that, guys, quick video, it, it's worth it. And like I said, especially if you have a newer vest, um, I think that you'll have no problems. If you have an older Solomon vest, you might get it and you might find some of the issues with these tabs on the top. I know people have adapted to them. They've kind of like maybe made their own holes and things like that. Not really what I would do, but if you're kind of frustrated with keeping your poles on your chest, keeping them on your back, or you just want some extra storage for a 360 or a GoPro, it's worth it. Many different types of attachments, different ways to tighten it, things like that. I hope that answers any questions you had. If you have any other ones, small channel, I'll get to your comments. So just leave them down in the comments below.